So at this point, we are really starting to personalize your portfolio. And the more work you do in these two videos, the more it's gonna look personal. So we're gonna go up here to customize. And first off at the top of the page, we've got this portfolio theme. So we've got a whole range of different themes that we can flip through using this arrow and have a little bit of a preview look at and decide if it's the way you want your page to look. Now, some of these themes are gonna suit different types of media better. It's gonna depend if you're on the free page or the paid for pages. So it's really important to have a bit of a work through. This is a new one this fang light which resembles a website more but it is beta it's still in development so that might kind of alter a little bit so new portfolios are always kind of coming online but you can flip your way through and try and see what layout would suit you best and remember you're going to be able to change colors and a few things anyway so don't worry too much about that it's about where the pictures sit on the screen and how easy it'll be for somebody to find their way through so having kind of had a little bit of a look through, I am going to choose a few for you to have a look at and see just what they might be like. So this folio light, I've got the option to customize and the option to preview. So I want to preview it and see what would it look like. So it's taken all my galleries, put them in this kind of grid. And then when I click on one, I get my picture there. It's a nice size and I've got little pictures at the bottom to show what else is in that particular gallery. The writing there is just sitting underneath. So I think that would be a really clean, sort of fresh design if I wanted that one. So to go back, I'm gonna click up here to switch back to Cravado. And that's gonna mean I'm back here in my editing and I think I'm gonna try another one of the, the themes. So I flip my way through and I've decided I'm gonna go with this one, Flipbook Dark. So same thing, apply the theme, preview that theme, everything's moved. My galleries have moved over a little bit. I've got this black background obviously going on. And then when I go into one of the galleries, I've got a bit of writing at the top there. It really has made my picture much bigger. So I'm liking that. You can really see it really well. Um, and I've got all the other little pictures from that gallery at the bottom. But I'm not so keen on this element here where I can see all the other galleries. It's maybe going to be a bit confusing. So I'm going to head back to switch back to Cravado Admin one more time and then just flip my way through and have a go at this one, a carousel light. So I click on the preview and it's opened it up here. So now everything's kind of a little bit longer and thinner. And when I go into one of the galleries, I can see that I've got a different kind of layout. So here I am in inspiration. There's my first picture there. And if I want people to see the next one, they would just scroll along the bottom and they'd be able to see them. So it's kind of like a bit of a slideshow effect going on there. Um, so I feel that that's going to be quite helpful. It's going to show all of my pictures stacked one after the other, especially if it's one project and it all relates to each other. It's going to be a really strong look. Um, so I think I'm going to opt with that one. When I go in here to my hair shows photos, um, again, you can work your way along here and it just gives you a sense of the look of the evening and the look of the theme of the work that the students were producing there. So I think I'm gonna keep that one. Over here in my about section, just check nothing's jumped there. I've got my picture. I think the writing's maybe ended up a bit small and looks a bit mad having my name twice at the top there. So